So, Miss Wright, what can you say about Jay-Z and Beyonce? I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them, but his wife as well. What do you think happened with Kim Keeping Ford? people against their will. Putting people on planes while they're unconscious, just like Aaliyah got on that plane. Unconscious. There's a lot of things that people don't want to talk about. Here's... Well, I really appreciate that you are frankly speaking, but we can agree that Jay-Z and Beyonce are not here to defend themselves. So it's fair to say that you are entitled to your opinion. Oh, um, I I'm just being honest with you. What can you say about Kim Porter? A new book alleges that Diddy had a hand in that, but did Jay-Z know about it? So it looks like Beyonce is sick and tired of Jaguar Wright speaking on her and it seems she's considering taking legal action against Jaguar. Honestly, it's not that surprising that Beyonce would file a lawsuit against Jaguar, given that Jaguar has been spilling a lot of tea on Beyonce and her husband for years. And not just the regular kind. I'm talking about the spicy kind of tea. Well, considering that Beyonce is currently under a lot of stress due to her ties to Diddy, and that Jaguar recently made some pretty bold claims about Beyonce allegedly unaliving people, the streets are now speculating that Beyonce could be trying to shut Jaguar up to protect herself. Girl, y'all better be sat for this because Beyonce is finally fighting back and she's fighting hard. So many people think that Jaguar only started talking about Jay-Z and Beyonce after Diddy's fall from grace, but she's been trying to expose them for years. A lot of people dismiss her as crazy, but given everything that's come to light, fans are starting to pay more attention to her and wonder if she's been right all along. Well, Jaguar has been on their necks ever since then, and it doesn't look like that's coming to an end anytime soon. You'll remember when Cassie exposed Diddy and hit him with that lawsuit last year? Well, Jaguar could not let that tea spill without adding her own mess into the mix. She straight up threw shade at Jay-Z, claiming he was in on Diddy's dirty business, and that he was even worse than Diddy. Sean Carter is worse. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. He's been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 effing years. Now, considering Jaguar's very serious beef with him, it's not that shocking. I mean, in one interview she said Jay-Z unalived her back when she was singing back up for him, coming at her with a whole box cutter. Paul Carter is just as bad as Diddy, and I know that for a fact. I've got the scars to prove it. There have been so many people on the internet trying to figure out where he is. They're watching him and doing all types of stuff trying to figure him out. You want to know what a box cutter feels like going into your skin and ripping you? I can tell you how it feels. Y'all ain't seen that, Cassie. That's nothing. So, are you trying to say like, Jay-Z put hands on you? I'm saying Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me and he's got it on tape. Just like Diddy. Yeah, Jaguar and the Carters are definitely not on good terms and she loves spilling their secrets every chance she gets. In her latest interview with Piers Morgan, Jaguar claimed that Jay-Z was allegedly the mastermind behind the whole Me Too movement. Why? Well, according to her, he supposedly needed to take down R. Kelly to cover up his own connection to R. Kelly's crimes. She's saying that Jay-Z bankrolled the movement to distance himself and hide any evidence of their past dealings. Well, because the Me Too movement was a ruse, it was a setup, it was a scam. I'm saying that now, publicly. Dreamhampton spearheaded the surviving R. Kelly campaign, which fueled the Me Too campaign, and that was all funded by Sean Carter to make sure that Robert Kelly went to jail. Get his lick back. Why is nobody understanding that Dreamhampton was being financed and ran by Sean Carter? They were able to go and get all of these witnesses because he was there with Robert Kelly. How does Jay-Z sit down with Gail King, and she doesn't ask him one question about the intersection between him, Aaliyah, and Robert Kelly? This is insane that people keep refusing to see what's right there. If the Me Too movement were real, why aren't they speaking now? They've also been very quiet during this time of the Diddler's downfall. But that's not all. She also had something to say about Aaliyah's death 
claiming that she was allegedly unalived by Beyonce. I have three victims right now who are willing to give testimony about not only what Mr. Carter has done to them but his wife as well. They're a nasty little couple. They do nasty things. What do you think happened with Kim? Keeping people against their will? Putting people on planes while they're unconscious? Just like Aliyah got on that plane. There are a lot of things that people don't want to talk about, peers. Jaguar definitely didn't hold back with that claim. She said what she said. Like I mentioned, the rumors about Aliyah's death being foul play have been floating around for years. Fans have always connected the dots back to the Carters, seeing it all happen because of Jay-Z's alleged obsession with Aliyah and how it reportedly made Beyonce jealous. Before Jay-Z became fixated on Aliyah, she was married to his close friend, R. Kelly. Yeah, the same R. Kelly that Jaguar accused Jay-Z of setting up to bring down. And let's not forget the shadiest part of all this. R. Kelly basically forced Aaliyah into that marriage when she was only 15 and he was 27. Her parents had to step in and get the whole thing annulled, but it was still very creepy that Jay-Z knew all about it and didn't say anything, watching his bestie marry her at that age only for him to turn around and develop his own obsession. Now for some context, in the early 2000s, Aaliyah was the it girl in Hollywood. She was not just one of the top female stars, she was easily the biggest, hands down. And with all that fame, of course, she had a lot of admirers. Everybody was trying to shoot their shot, including Jay-Z and Dame Dash. The two were already having some tension, but when they got to competing for Aaliyah's attention, baby, that's when things got even messier and led to Jay-Z betraying Dame in the worst way possible. He sold out the record label right from under him. Aaliyah definitely knew she was that girl and she was not about to let anybody forget it. Sis was out here enjoying the attention, playing the field, hanging out with different guys, but never really locking it in with any of them. According to sources, it wasn't even about getting physical. She just loved the attention and all the gifts that came with it. Jay-Z and Dame Dash were both in that mix trying to win her over while knowing the other was doing the exact same thing. It was like this silent competition between the two of them, each of them trying to outdo each other for Aliyah's affection. Yeah, everybody was getting at Aliyah, bro, right? She was like, you know, she'll go to dinner with her. She wasn't going to just be smashing two friends, chasing the same girl. Yeah, that's always a disaster waiting to happen. I mean, we've seen this too many times and it never ends well. So of course the jealousy kicked in quick and Aliyah was not making things easier. She was going on dates with both Jay and Dame, living her best life. Well, that was probably giving each other major side eye on the regular. I mean, it's no surprise that things went downhill very fast. And y'all know Jay-Z does not take his L's lightly. So the whole situation was already on shaky ground. But things hit the fan when Aliyah finally decided to get with Dame. And the kicker? Dame didn't even tell Jay-Z outright, but Jay still found out because it all went down at a 4th of July party where they were all at. Awkward much? You know, this was going to be hard for him because he was told, and his friends were laughing at him. Dame even admitted that he knew Jay-Z was going to make things difficult for him after that, because Jay was super pissed. The tension was real. Jaguar Wright, of course, added fuel to the fire by claiming that Aaliyah was the main reason for the fallout between Jay and Dame. According to her, Jay was just salty about losing Aaliyah to Dame, and it pretty much ruined their whole friendship. Honestly, it sounds like a classic case of jealousy gone wild. I think everybody that knows Sean Carter knows that he will slump anyone in any relationship for a dollar. Look at how he did Dame. I don't give a f- If you wanted to get away from your homie, if you wanted to get away from your partner, but to do it the way he did it, after the whole Aliyah situation, Jay-Z moved on to Beyonce, but the streets were still convinced he had major feelings for Aliyah. And it didn't really help that there was already major competition between Beyonce and Aliyah at the time. Being caught up in that weird love triangle just made things that much messier. Then, when Aliyah tragically passed away in that plane crash, Beyonce ended up with both the man and the status. The circumstances around Aliyah's death are still shady even today, because it was such an avoidable tragedy. She was in the Bahamas filming a music video, but the sketchy part was that it was originally planned for Florida. Everything was all set, and then out of nowhere, the director Hype Williams decided to move the whole thing to the Bahamas, 
without even checking with Aaliyah first. Real suspicious, ain't it? Then she and the whole crew get on this tiny plane that ends up crashing shortly after takeoff. Jaguar even claims that the plane was overloaded and not fit for flying, but nobody was even trying to investigate why it happened. And just to put a bow on the chaos, Aaliyah's passing was a huge hit to the music industry. It left everyone stunned and mourning the loss of a rising star who had so much potential. But now, Jaguar's claims and Beyonce's potential legal action against her have opened up this floodgate of questions surrounding Aaliyah's death and the connection to the Carters. Is it possible that Jay-Z and Beyonce have been hiding some serious secrets for all these years? As the tension builds, the public's fascination with the unfolding drama raises significant ethical questions about the role of media in shaping narratives around celebrities.